Hello, 2020 graduates. This is Cheryl Burton from ABC7 Chicago, sending you lots of love, congratulations, and abundant blessings on your 2020 graduation. What a happy time it is in your life. And I know that it's a little non-traditional as we celebrate this year because things are a little bit different, but I'm here to tell you there is so much pride because graduations represent the extraordinary potential that lies ahead for the 2020 graduates. And I know because I was a graduate once many, many years ago. In fact, I got perfect attendance in high school and I have two graduates in my family, a high school senior and a senior in college. So normally at this springtime rite of passage, you would be walking across the stage in your cap and gown, and then you would receive that diploma that you so skillfully earned. And then you would switch that tassel to one side, representing this very important milestone in your life, but I'm here to tell you, you have a new stage. It's called the universe, and it is filled with unlimited possibilities. You are visionaries. You are resilient. You are so impressive, and your voice and your ideas have been powerful forces. So you've already made your mark on society. Just think of all the devotion and the commitment that got you here today. And I know in this group, we will see some game changers and some history makers whose names will no doubt will go down in history as people who changed the world and made a difference. And I know we live in this highly competitive world where we want to build our media platforms, but it's really important too to build great character because that has long lasting advantages. So you get one reputation, own it, protect it, and guard it with your life. Let excellence be the only difference between you and somebody else in the same room. Now, on this journey, you have made so many friends along the way, so many rare friendships. You have to cherish them. Never forget the memories that you made together throughout the years. Always stay connected, share a listening ear, of course, and uplift those who may need a helping hand or a shoulder to lean on. And to the teachers who were so dedicated to making sure you were successful scholars, so much so they made the sacrifice to put your educational needs first. And they were always there for you, even when you didn't think you could get to the finish line. They have shaped your lives in so many ways that the world will, of course, benefit for many years to come. So make sure you say thank you to them and show your gratitude and appreciation. And to the phenomenal parents and the extended family who poured all the love and the nurturing into each graduate, for some of them during this pandemic, well, you were teachers as well. So great job there. And they made unconditional love happen for you. They made you believe that anything is possible. So graduates, you know what? Make sure you thank them. Tell them you love them regularly and always. Now, you work so hard to get to this moment and this moment of challenge and chaos, I'm here to tell you, will not define your greatness because you know what? The best is yet to come for you. Now, we honor your intelligence and I hope while you've been sheltering in place and e-learning that you took a little time to reflect and discover some of your hidden talents because I know you've got some and you realize just how incredible and fabulous you are. Well, you will go down as the generation of producers and philanthropists in this pandemic. And I've watched and I've reported on your extraordinary acts of kindness, your bravery, your courage, your generosity, your brilliance, and most importantly, your unity. We are all hashtag in this together. I've been witnessing you write poetry, singing and playing instruments from balconies and on social media, of course, dancing in your driveways to delivering mails to seniors and the elderly and the most vulnerable. You will be rewarded for your gifts of goodness. Joyful deeds and gratitude can always be found in some of the darkest moments. So I'm so inspired by your caring and creative spirit and how you will change the world. I cannot wait to see your next. And I know that you will make your new normal even better and you will live boldly 
and be fearless. So take this moment to shine and sparkle as we celebrate your academic accomplishments and achievements and go confidently in the direction of your dreams and live that life that you imagined for yourself. Never forget, you have value, you matter, and you are always enough and make sure you have self-love. So take that leap of faith, follow your dreams and your passion, and remember, so many things have been canceled, but hope has not been canceled. So sometimes hope in your faith is the only thing that will get you through to tomorrow. And that's where the magic and the wonder lives. We salute you. We are proud of you. And reach for the moon, because if you don't make it, you'll be among the stars. And that's not a bad place to be. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so proud of you. Continued greatness for you and continue to throw kindness around like it's confetti. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. Yay! Class of 2020, we're in this together. Congratulations. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.